and immediately gets dinked down to 20 HP. He's not going to be sticking around for that fight. It's on down to Cold Zero on the site. Finds one, looking for more. But Mopos with a quick trade as Lowell joins the party. Well, Brokey up here as well. Let's see if he can get anything done. He's going to find himself one on towards Law to fall away. He's toy. This guy's a pretty impressive player. He may be a little bit more unfamiliar with the Bobby Star players and the likes of the world superstars on phase, but Easter is certainly a player to watch when he shows up. Gonna be Nico. His way out towards Long. Brokey with a headshot. Alex gone. And now we're at 2v2. Mopaz and Eastor looking to try and hold on to the site. But Brokey heading his way back in. Does damage on towards Mopaz, who's stuck inside of Optimus, but still landing shots off towards Nico, who's barely alive. You have to remember, this guy took damage early at the start of the round, and he will fall to Eastor. P250 taking him away. More ahead of the curve when they have to face off against the likes of a phase, against the likes of a fanatic. So we really can't take anything away from some of the more unknown newer players here as Bob gets planted, Lowell farming a few frags, but then they do get uh, replied back. So a little bit of damage being dealt out here and Ray just pushing up. They can't be fancy because they don't have a kit. No, surely not, but they run on towards the side anyway. I don't know, with this team, anything can happen. Smoke goes on towards the bomb. Kills going to run and just stick the defuse, taps it, pulls him into the open, trying to do as much damage, force as many rebuys as possible. Rain will get rid of Mopos, and, well, the round, of course, being won. And there's the defuse. Oh my god, Corteris nearly pulled it off. There's all the kills, and Fizz somehow, oh. out of nowhere, win the round. <laughs> Fizz clan, that is just unbelievable. But there you have it. At least the one thing going for them is the fact that they do. Okay, Ooh. Alex gets both. That works out. So yeah, movie stars, at least it was kind of like a bonus round. They just a few uh, SMGs, so they're going to be having the full buy. And not just that, they do get the opening to kill, despite... Having the man advantage, you still need to find more low pause, finds rain, and the team flash not really working out for rain there. Money gonna be. Ooh, not too bad, not too bad. All of can uh, drop either cold. Ooh, so things looking a little dicey, and they haven't rotated anyone over. They're gone for the proactive flashback, and that's perfect. Cold Zera finds two, finally gets traded. They still know there's another player, they know it's all off. Waiting inside the pit. Molotov to try and keep him at bay, but now backup has arrived in the form of Brokey. Tosses in a flash, the smoke still obscuring his vision for the time being. But look at the health on all the three remaining players of Mobistar. No one above 50 HP, and this is a golden opportunity for this retake to take, to take place. Oh, well, all of Mice is going to catch Steel. Alex straight away going for the ballsy repeat and taking all of Mice down. A follow up kill from Alex. He is really feeling it right now. Law's going to go back over towards outside of Monster. 2v1, they just need to reposition. Rain's taking so much damage, and Alex might just do it all himself. A 4k. Okay. A huge round from him. A bomb site. Aggressive hold from Brokey. Should be wary. Finds the first kill, but he gets traded. Now it's gone down to rain, but a quick immediate trade from Alex means that A bomb site is compromised. They have Nico just running up towards bank, trying to reach there before the T's make their way. Well, Zara will eventually emerge from connector, and there it is. The perfect timing. Catching off Law, and now this is looking good for the Fizz side. If they can get rid of Mopaz, they certainly stand a chance of making this retake happen, but it doesn't happen. Mopaz takes the kill and just hides away. Another time is tucked so far away. It is going to be another round on the board for the Movistar Riders. Six to one. Both of them. Three players over towards B, two positioned towards Long, and while Mopus is getting hungry for the kills, he will catch up Rain in towards the long position. Brokey will pick him up on the AWP in reply, but this round, it's already done. That's wild. Um, I had a little bit of lapse of concentration, so maybe I didn't notice what they gauged, but they seem to know. Off the bat, there were two CTs towards Long, and knew that a bomb was there for the taking. They didn't waste. Yeah, round was done in like 30 seconds. Moves are just seem to have... Well, nice shot from Mopaz. Gonna be traded back by Nico, but it doesn't really matter. The push is not coming in towards B instead. The A bomb site. Brokey, is he aware? Nico is just gonna push up and checks the sandbags. That's a good kill. Pulls it back into a 3v3. 50 seconds left. Now the A bomb site has been taken. Rain sprinting up towards the top of the connector, and Brokey has been executed. A man advantage once more intact for the Movistar side. It's gonna be Rain holding on. Steel walked in with his knife out, and he will fall. Now Eastor close by on the off night nice shot so quick. And he'll head back into the bathrooms. Alex will hold on top of the truck and it leaves Nico in a 1v2. Make it happen. 
There's Nico. Nice flash, man. He's gonna push back East Store with Nico. He doesn't know where he is. He's gonna come pushing in East Store. He's playing this perfectly. Just biding his time. Oh, Waits wow. around. Doesn't face. He's played this perfectly. There's not much time remaining. And he even closes it out. With scope. In fact, I do believe it's a fast scope. It doesn't matter. He still clutches it out. The duels, they're playing the bomb, they're playing the time. It's Dex for Counter Strike. At Broke, he doesn't care though. He's gonna find the first frag, although he gets tagged on 15 HP. He's still holding the line. He's still looking to get another kill as Nico joins the defense. Have a complete read as to what is going on. They still could relocate back over it towards that B bomb site, but Rain gets aggressive, manages one kill. Alex will get rid of him, but that's information picked up. Um, they're aware there's more than one over towards A at the moment. Nico's gonna catch the bomb, and that's a huge player to find. And now Fear is finally looking like they're gonna win a normal, conventional round. That does leave Eastor alone in the world. 1v4 with the all popping inside of middle. Old Zara is hungry for the prey. And there it is. Two on the board for Fizz. Finally, a bet. Yeah, it was a smoke defuse. Let's call it that, right? But yeah, 11 2 as a. All off gets the opening, but Alex again opening up his fight. Pretty much all by his lonesome. There's another player to find, and it is Nico, and it's gonna tap him straight into his grave. Spots out East as well. He's not gonna face. But at least the man advantage has been neutralized. Doesn't stand too far, actually. It does take a little bit of damage on it, but he just walks over the top of the site, catches East Tour. Now a 2v3. Advantage still on the CT side. As Brokey will find the headshot, lol gone. Aware of the possibility of this close player inside of the site. Brokey flashing over the top. Steel just trying to get involved, now giving away his position, the flank from Nico's there, and it's the one for one. The round picked up, Fizz will get another. World, and it looks like, again, they are heading towards his B bomb site, not wasting any time, just going for the contact play, and Steel's gonna open it up. One player on the side, Mopos, mops off the player, Alex finds another, three players dead, B bomb site there's a minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Okay, that is a statement of purpose. Well, 12-3, not as good as 11-4, and scrap everything we just said. <laughs> Movistar Riders have a huge performance in this first half. Brokey and Rian looking for a way back in. And we broke it with the first headshot. Alex picked off. Now Steel should be in a position for at least one kill. And when getting back into this corner, he now looks like he might just be able to get two. As he moves forward, Brokey completely blinded, overwhelmed. 12-3 at the half from the Spanish side. Well, for his clan, down 12-3 at the half. Well, they'll be trying their best to get back into things. Movistar Riders. The clock on his hands is all off Meister. We'll head towards the top of the connector. Steel starting to swing in. And a headshot now. 4v4. Here. Cold Zera. The mini raid boss with Lowell pushing in from behind. Broke. He turns around, but Lowell's gonna find the drop on him. Eastro is waiting around as well. Finds one looking for the second kill. He should have this in the back. All of duking out with him, but the lack of Kevlar is gonna definitely hurt him. And with that, Reigns alone, bomb in no man's land. And things have gone from bad to, well, worse, Dinko. Into a 1v4. It's not looking too likely, especially with Eastro just waiting for him. And that is a trap door, if I've ever seen one. Pushing towards the B bombs and give himself up. It's gonna be Steel making contact, but they're tagging him through the wall. The Deagle able to do the damage as the Easter replies back real quickly, finds one, two, almost gets a third, but Brokey drops him. Utility ready to drop on in to assist them in their approach. Or oh, Zara is gonna be the front man with the Deagle. That's a nice headshot. Now LOL, his leg is spotted. Oh, there we go. Cold Zara with the second. It does leave Mopas into a 1v3 and just enough time to get the bomb planted here for Fizz. This round is going to be one that they walk away with. They'll walk back into the site, checks to the right and spots Rain. He'll take him away first. They expect the second player to be stacked on the same position. This time Brokey with a oh, an AK in his hands and a kill as well. 14 to 4. A deal for Fizz as they look to head towards his B bomb site. Rain gets one. Nico coming back in as well and. There's a 5v3, a two-man advantage. Now three man advantage on the Fierce Clan side. This is almost similar to that of Movistar's T side. Very clean, clinical, not losing a single player. Why? I want a best comeback. Could be. As he's store. Ah, oh, unfortunate for him. He...
Now he is ready, and with 18 seconds left, Fierce Clan commit to the B bomb side. Everything tossed this way. Mopas and LOL have a double stack outside of Monster, and it's allowed them to pick up the first kill. No one yet falling, and finally, Olaf Meister will strike. Coltsera backs him up, and LOL sprinting away. There's not Hi. enough time. All he still needs to do is just hide. He's going for the spams, and he knows he's won the round. Movistar Riders, map point 15 to 8 against Fierce Clan here on Overpass. It's pushed in. They know it's clear, they know it's going to be an A hit, and this aggressive hit, it could be very ugly indeed. As Cold Zera finds a kill, but still with a quick trade. Picks up an AK-47 as well. This could... Oh, no, not like this! Lowell finds Nico as well, it's a 4v2 now. Bomb, not on the site yet. It's all in rain and Brokey, they need to somehow make this one work. But, oh, this is looking rough, it's all on Brokey, he's alone. Against the wall, everyone's blind. He's, tra he's just trapped like a rat in the corner, and Alex is going to close it out. What a way to lose the game, and finally movies has closed it out, but that's got to be gutting for face. Middle, it's Alex who takes the initial damage on board. Now, he was playing really well on overpass. We'll see if he can continue that performance. But Steel close by on short. They're running right into each other. Nico, there we go, gone. Thanks to Steel's USP. Nico was running right into Steel. Movable object. Takes his head off, and now Law getting the double. First kill onto Brokey, second onto Olaf Meister. He's looking for a little bit more as they try to cross to the site. Fears are dropping like flies. It's only called Zera, and there's the cleanup. Movistar Riders find themselves the pistol. Law. No pause lying away. The MP9 at that range, Dinko. That could just shred a lot of people, and he's going to find the first spot on the second player as well. Flashbang tossed in. He's got to stay alive here. Teammates oh. already in his sight. Can he make his escape? No, he doesn't. Yes, Olaf catches him out, but not tosses in a very, very painful nade. And here comes a hit on the B-bomb site. Well, Olaf Meister runs over the top, dropping in. He should have spotted Steel, but Steel not getting the opportunity just yet. Up until that point, he swings and drops the bomb in the hands of Nico. But Olaf Meister does not overreact. Stays in the same position, catches Alex off. This is not going to be easy for Law whatsoever getting back into the site. The approach spotted. All of Meister knows where he is. Now Lord just sits back, trying to find a way out, trying to take a fight, but it's not happening. Fears are playing it so well. All of Meister just wraps him below him, and there it is. Fears find their first on the board. Oh, a nice shot. Perfect timing to go for it as well. He stole it. Smoke bloomed in his face as soon as he got the kill. Now Fears looking to try and make a push in towards the B bomb site. Easter has been dropped to 22. Wolfmeister still inside of the apartments. He should be taking the offer down, but he's swung by the MP9 of Mopos, who manages one in the 5-7. Rattling away shots. It's written gone. There's the bomb. Oh my god. Movistar Riders make it happen. Three on the board and the five. 45 seconds in play, Blair. And there you have it. East Store with a quick kill. Low Wolf trades. All off. Doing what he can. Kuroki missing a shot. Finally he lands it. Blocks Lowell's head. Clean off his shoulders. But steal the thing at the edge of the smoke. He spots that Kuroki. Goes for the spray. Finds him. It's all in all off now. He's got to get the 1v2. Hiding in the smoke. Waiting for it to dissipate so he can find a free kill on the steal. Who's going to react faster is the question. Well, Olaf Meister has a bit of an advantage emerging from the smoke. We'll see if he can find it. Steal. He's going to be spotting Olaf Meister, but still can't find the kill. Olaf Meister accurate in landing the headshot. And now a 1v1. He'll run towards the site, going for the plant. Not enough time to fake this away. He'll punch the digits through, and now Mopas moves forward. And oh no, Olaf Meister not quite in the position to win it. As the lack of presence towards an A-slope area does feel like it, it is going to be. A B split by the looks of it. Alex sticking around for a while, trying to find a trade, but he will have to opt out of that fight. Well, Rin is about to walk around the corner, and he's going to check the right side, and that's going to be more pause. Picked right off. Now, 6-1. Looking likely we'll see Fierce Clan get themselves a second if they can just capitalize. Mopos can buy for himself very, very comfortably, and Lowell's will be dropped, so they're not quite out. Falling for it, Steel's aware it's going to be an A hit coming in, and it's going to be all off. He needed to get that kill, and he found Rain for as well. One player towards the CD side, and Rain, he is just not missing anything now, though. Brokey finds Mopos as well, and one by one they fall. With nine seconds on the clock, they do get the bomb down in A bomb side. It was well played by FaZe. Yeah, much better round from them, and Steel into a 1v4. He'll just stay back and carry what he can into the next round. It's probably not going to be too much, because Fears are hunting them, trying to really burn this economy away. And a few of the players are starting to smoke up. Molotov's quick play in towards the A-bomb site. Steel's going to look over the top of the stairs and catch Rain. 
Still a player inside of Sandwich, and the Nid's actually only done damage to Steel, but it doesn't matter because he drops in upon Nico, taking him away. Well, Zero will get the headshot back in, and a man advantage intact for the Spanish team. Uh, that's a way to that's a way to play it. <laughs> that was a while from Steel. Top nades, flashes and smokes raining in. Morpho's gonna be leading the charge with the MP9. They've smoked off the bomb, but Broki from Palace finds one. Second flash, not deep enough, and all of my sort of strike goes to the long spray. Doesn't quite get it, but it does so much damage. They're sticking it in the smoke, and Broki coming in with a knife! And his Pagalolo takes down his own teammate. And that's gonna be the round. That was, uh... Okay, that <laughs> happened. Around every... Five, six one, in fact. Now, do reply back, Broki. Refrag on the steel. It's been tagged on a 9 HP, so this is going to be a little tricky. Well, Rain taking Alex down off the top on the ticket box into a 3v3. Broke low HP, and Mopuz is going to catch him. That's the bomb. Mopuz has had a quiet performance, so this is certainly around to step up. Aggression towards Palace, catching Coldera. Now Brokey and a third kill picked up. It's Rain gone. They're not getting that bomb back off him at all. It leaves Nico in a 1v3 with 20 seconds left to try and recover this. He'll move forward and try his best, but the smoke is completely shrouding Mopas. And well, Nico looks back and finds the headshot, doubles his kills. And while he's held by East Toy, and the kill will come through. 7 to 5 in from Movistar Riders. Fears Clan. I think Rain at this point has to be the player to make a play. He's just given away that he's up here with that smoke coming in. And Mopas is flanking around the back. Rain patiently waits for it. Now he can emerge. That's such a good play from Rain. Like, just how patient and calm. He played that perfect. Stops in the smoke. They knew oh. they're going to peek out. Finds another one. And from a 3v5. And he was saying, Dinko, this looks unlikely. Lowell, though, in such a good position. He could catch Cold here. If he times it right, goes to the long spray. He finds it. Now he knows where the second player is as well. No, now they know where both the players are. Range was connected. He's going to just push up. Perfect flashback from Broki. Oh, right, oh, oh, it finally falls. Lowell, it's all in Broki. 1v2 with the AWP. And it's going to drop on down like an angel of oh. death. He finds one. Looking for more beauty. 50 comes out and he clutches. Broki, that's just ridiculous. Sides, some people might say. That's Mopaz. Pushed up towards half smoke and play. Colder comes pre firing, spraying around the corner, but Mopar just holding behind by Gandalf. And he's still alive on 5 HP, trapped in the corner. He's gonna make his way towards Kitchen East Store, trying to be sneaky. But Nico is very, very well aware of a potential push coming in. Another push comes in from Lowell towards Slope, and Brokey finds himself another. And that just equalizes things. And Rain, if he finds one frag here, it's gonna be huge. And he's gonna try and sneak his way in. Steel spots him out, doesn't get the kill though. They're still unaware where Mopos might be, and Mopos could be the snake in the grass here. As Steel finds Rain, and just two players remaining for FaZe Clan. It's broke, he oh. finally burns Mopos alive. Steel does not need to face, as the remaining two players of FaZe head towards A bomb site. Went to the plant now, like, shoot start to emerge. He'll go around the back, he has them both lined up, there's Brokey gone, and Nico executed as well. Alex, a big play, and it's 8-7 <laughs> at the half for the Movistar Riders. Just one. Can they make it? Can they make it two? Is a question. They've won all the pistol rounds so far. Fast hit towards B. But look at the stack coming in from base. Four CTs waiting, lying in wait, caught in the grass. Broke is going to be the first one to strike. All off doing his best to just buy this time. Alex, however, gets a trade, but Nico onto backs, and he's been quiet so far. Two quick headshots back to back, making it a four v two. Bomb dropped on the site, and the T's have a lot of work to do. Well, Nico sits back on short. He'll run away. Bomb line on the floor. Obviously, our riders desperately need to pick it up, but it's being watched like a hawk from Nico. Back into a short. He also has Cold Terror and Brokey backing him up. It's a triangular hold of death. As Fierce Clan will win their. What's his B bomb? Side rotation. Not really taking place. The two players waiting. Nice flashback. Both players trapped all off with the MP9. He finds one, swaps over to the AK 47 as Cold Zera joins the party from his best position. And it's all down to Lowell. 46 HP and he's gonna fall. A minute and 28 seconds left and everyone's dead, Dinko. And that was a bomb. And slowly but surely, Movie Stars are getting control of this A bomb set range. Should be careful. He's looking the wrong way. Mo God, and all on the one player in that A bomb set. It is called Zera. They're on towards the site, Steel, getting the bomb planted. Cold Zera, though, from the position we've seen Alex do some work in. Again, striking, but this time he'll only manage one. 
Mopas gets over the ticket box, barely alive as well. One bullet connecting would have been enough. The Cold Terror stays alive under the wood. He will eventually fall to LOL, who takes him away, and now a 4v2. The Fades Clan nearly being able to pull that off, but Cold Terror just couldn't quite pull off the opportunity well enough. So, Olaf might still broke, he probably just having to save these weapons. And he held the and broke, he just peeks out wide, Alex misses the shot, and he's gonna get punished for it. from Nico, it's gonna catch Mopos towards top middle. Now that is definitely the start phase we would be looking for in this kind of round, especially take away LOL as well. It's flawless so far and absolutely nothing Spanish players could do. Now it's only Eastor up towards top mid, biding their time, letting Eastor walk into them while all of Meister flanks around the backside, doing the damage, spotting him. One HP, Nid will finish him off. That's his death sentence. 12 to 9, Fizz Clan picking towards B. This is the main goal of Movistar at the moment. They want to get this early kill in towards this B bomb site. And while Coltera, Nico, taking away two kills early on. He is still looking good for Olaf Meister as well in the corner. He was flashed, but didn't care. He moves forward and catches off Vistor as well. It's on to steal a 1v4. And while Movistar Riders are starting to feel the real pressure of what Fitz Clan can do when they're playing well. Oh, absolutely. It's just manhandling them at the moment. Impressive showing indeed. And if you look at for them, it is rain looking to rain blood all over the A-bomb site. I say that and he dies. Of course he does. <laughs> Alex opens it up. Two quick kills. Broke with a nice little flick. Well, he's under pressure. Alive. Yeah, still under pressure though. Mopas. I was wanting to go forward, but his teammates Molotov came in. A little bit of miscommunication there, perhaps. But East Tor and Mopas, the last two remaining players here from Movie Star Riders and their chances here on Mirage. They're both playing in front of the CT smoke. Once it starts to fade, that's their cover gone. And now they're going to be open to CT, and that's exactly where Brokey will take the kill. And now he's only Eastor. He'll do his best. He'll find one, but he's overrun. And it's Olaf Meister that takes him away. Fierce Clan will be walking away with a 16 to 9 win on Mirage. <laughs> All right, I love this. I love this. Yeah. Spray that body. Spray. Finds back on Mirage. And while they're going to be trying to do their best work here on Inferno, they should be their favorites. And look at this push from Olaf Meister straight in towards middle. That's just wild. Look at where the CTs are. It's like they're taking the A bomb site here as the rain continues to rain on Mogi Star's parade. But now Cold Zero on the A bomb site all by Sons of Low needs to win this duel and he will indeed Molotov in hand to delay the CTs a bit more. They're gonna have to get the bomb down. Smoke keeping broken rain at bay for the time being, but it will dissipate. Rain has a flashbang in hand. He's just gonna go for the duel. Flashbang is great. It's gonna blind one, doesn't blind a second. Broke, he's just blocking rain's escape route. But now it's all. On Brokey to make this happen. Rain is so very low indeed. He knows where Alex is. Beautiful love tap on the head of Alex. And it's all in Lowell. 1v2 from the pit. Lol, trying to do his best work for men here. That's a good headshot on towards Rain. Now Brokey, full HP on the bomb, but takes damage. Dropped the 33. Lowell hides his head. Brokey goes back. He has the kit. He just needs the headshot. He doesn't know if he's crossed to the left side. Oh. And there it is. Lowell swings to try and see the bomb. Fears will want win the pistol just in the nick oh. of time. As they round the corner. Nico looking for the first headshot. He picks it up on towards Steel, pretty firing away, but unfortunately it doesn't quite work for him. Easter overruns. Now the advantage is still with the Fierce Clan, but Wolfie Star Riders sprinting to the B bomb site with a bomb. Cold Terror's in the perfect position. They don't even check. They don't even realize it's a possibility. Cold Zara gets rid of both of them, and with that, the. Oh, uh, towards Arch. But Rain. Playing aggressively, he doesn't spot anyone out, he's jumping around, he's going to be going for the fight here. If he turns right, he could actually line them up, just find one, but that's okay. Alex not daring to face, so he's down 42 HP, and Nico's there with the AWP. Two quick kills for FaZe and over at B. <laughs> so, uh, just run on in and hope that you can win this. And well, there's the headshot. All of mice are taken away. Now they shouldn't expect Cold Zara to be here. And this is where that double setup, that bait and switch, really pays off. Cold Zara oh, gets perfect. the double, and Brokey able to assist him. Good setup from FaZe. It'd be a little disappointing considering what a start this series had for it to kind of end this way. And Steel, beautiful 1D, going to Brokey. Goes to the wide peak and gets punished for it. One bullet from the Desert Eagle. That's all he needs. Well, utility toss in towards the site. It's going to be a charge from the Movistar Riders out on towards the bomb site. Mopaz will take himself called Zera. Now, lol. Oh. Okay, that's a nice shot through the cap on the side of the hay bills. 
This is much better from Movistar Riders. Not a round that you'd expect this to happen in, but their first round certainly paying off after the timeout. It was a mid brackets area, and that's a call for them to just push in from apartments and catch a colder all by Stones and put the ape. Was A, they'll be putting a little bit of pressure all off Meister against. Double set up with Paul Terra. It's gonna be one kill from him. Looking to line up more, but he's finally dealt with by East Tor. A quick refrag actually from the Alper. Swinging out in towards top middle. And now there's under a minute left. Nico trying to get aggressive through Banana, but he's surely gonna die here. Mopaz is ready for it. Man advantage in play from Movistar Riders. Sound. They're going for the contact play now. Malta's reigning in. And Yurikin pushing and broke the off towards the A bomb side. He's got a lot of work to do. Spots the first one. Nice little flick. Looking for more spots. Second one. Mopaz just playing the headshot angle. He's trying his best to stay alive. It is Brokey. Finally gets found by Mopaz. But Cold Zera from the pit and the nade helps him out. And it's all an E store. It's turned around. It was a 4v2 for Movistars. And it's all an E store. And Rain, he's not missing anything right now, Dinko. And FaZe to bring it back again. And Olaf Meister inside of the A-bomb side itself. The smoke reveals Alex. Kill comes in from Cold Zera. And now they'll just hide in the back of the side. Eastor trying to move forward. It's Mopo's taking away Olaf Meister. He gets the second kill as well on the Cold Zera. 2v2. It's a retake of the A-bomb site required now. Any mistake whatsoever. But now he needs to do something. He needs to try and help his teammate out. He's going to go for the spray. He's very, very blind indeed. Now it's all on Mopo's. 1v2. He finds one. Runs out of bullets. The claw comes out. The Fire! Somehow managing him to clutch around out in movie stars, they win the second. Mopo's pushing up. Edge of the smoke. Hard to be aware of this is a question. Great. Needs to get a trade. He will. It's a crucial kill, but they're not able to take advantage of it. Mopo's gets a frag, but there's no retrade possible from his teammates. There's no one nearby to take advantage of the fact that Rain is all by his lonesome. Instead, they're gonna just go in for this A play, and just beautiful from Steel, just comes pushing in cold, Zera finds one, but two spots him out, he's going for the spray, does so much damage, the nade's gonna be his demise, there you have it, and one player remains in the pit, it is the man himself, all of Meister, finds one, makes it a 1v2 on that bomb site, but he finally gets taken down, but Rain, he's arrived in the bomb site, and he might oh. just got this one out, pushes in, finds one, Alex trying to stick the bomb, and he's trapped in the corner, Rain, flashman pops out, Alex going for the peak, and he lands the headshot, valiant effort by Rain, but it was not to be. Nico and Rain. The fact that they don't have much utility to work with means they will have to go for the play. Okay, Cold somehow recovers and finds two. And uh, Movie Star Riders try to go for the waterfall play in the pit, and they just get completely, utterly dismantled. Steel does reply back, but Cold Zara bomb at his feet. East Coast is going to try to find the kill, but he sees a barrel sticking out from the smoke and Cold. A little. I have the rifles. Deployed, kind of semi-contact play, and oh, unfortunately, Nico completely blinded there. Try to go for the hero play, and it's all gonna be down to rain. He finds one, the smoke's gonna give him some cover for the time being, finds another one, looking for more. Continues oh, to push on the head! One, two, three, looking for more. He knows his player right underneath of him. He spots him out, Alex needs to win this duel, and rain runs out of bullets, unfortunately. And it's all in all, he comes pushing in, doesn't make his escape Lowell with the trade. Valiant effort by rain. No, great. This buy is the uh, well, Hail Mary buy. It is the final round of the first half for FaZe. Considering the lead they had initially, they are going to be a little miffed with the way things have played out. And then 25 seconds on the clock and broken Nico left. Nico is pushing down Banana and players going to want to walk on past him. Oh, not. No. no, no, no <laughs> there we go. No. Nico's right. been knifed. <laughs> I'm going to be happy with that. How many knives do we have so far from Movie Stars? I think two. I think it's two. Series. And FaZe have... I don't know how many... Oh, wait. Are they... Oh, no! Okay, another add one. that up. Oh. There we go. Two knife kills to seal the deal. It has. And uh, the interesting thing is FaZe were up 7-1 on the CD side. And that's a way to start the round. That is a way to start the round. Nico, first bullet, headshot. Thank you very much. He'll take that any given day. And it's all that Alex trying to delay this push. He's got the smoke to keep them at bay for now. You see all five marauding members of Face Clan just waiting, lying in wait. Smoke's gonna be dissipated. Alex out in the open. He's gonna try and take the duel, but Cole and Brokey? I don't know even how he finds East Store, but he finds both of them. And that's a B bomb site, completely utterly taken over by FaZe. And the final two members not even gonna bother going for this one. And it's tied up. The first three uh, pistol rounds in this series were won by Movistars, and now FaZe. Steel. Catching Coltera, getting aggressive. Rin this time is ready. 
for him. He'll take the head off, but still, advantage intact for the CT side. At least it was until Nico gets a little bit of space in towards the B bomb site. One remaining player inside of the site itself. Mopal's looking to do his best work. It has to be huge. He needs more than one here, I think, and to even have a slight chance, so he's kind of a dead man. Stuck inside of this B bomb site. Great flash by from the team hit further back in CT spawn. Easter allows him to get one kill, but it's not enough. They're on towards the site. Not enough just yet, but certainly a 2v2. Limited utility. They've got a smoke and a flash. No kit either, so they've just got to play for these kills. And very quickly indeed. Rin hides behind the coffins. Here's the smoke deploy, and there's the kill from Eastor, but Nico there for the trade. Now it peeks out oh. again, and the headshot collected. Lol hits the deck. He bombs that, and that could be the play here. We see the bomb slowly falling back. And Raid catches Lol in midair. Oh, it's just clay shooting over Inferno. Here's Clank get a good start, and now they gather inside of Banana. All five players just charging up towards B. I feel bad for Mopaz here. He's definitely gone. Surely what? they check the soundbite. They've just run right past him. There's the first kill. Oh, oh, he only gets one, but that could have been huge. They didn't even clear sandbikes. Well, oh, his plan. <laughs> They're gonna get the bomb planted at least. That was, uh, that was a little bit scary. Mopal's gonna go a little bit more. Alex, what is that? Just running right through the smoke, hoping he could catch off Rin. He was close to taking the kill, but he was always dead. It's gonna be round number 14. Phase two away. Now the push comes through. Brokey's got a good position, so if Eastor is to re-aggress, he will be picked off. Brokey with the kill. Now they push forward. Our real estate, they're not trying to find any information. Instead, they're just going to be playing passively. They're trying to stack two over at B, but Brokey finds Steel. That's an A bomb side, completely compromised, completely bereft of any CD presence. Alex getting a kill in the Nico. That's going to make the play for A. FaZe is going to find themselves an empty bomb side. It's going to be a 4v2 retake as the bomb will get planted. Library. A little chill going on towards bottom middle, just hiding in the underpass. It's Alex checking it. Headshot picked up on towards Olaf Meister. Now they have a little bit of a chance coming back into this retake. 2v3, not completely over just yet. Incredibly unlikely, but still not over. Running forward, it's going to be Alex, the front man around the corner. Cold Sarah looking to hold on, but the headshot comes in. The bicycle boost not working for Cold Sarah. Brokey inside of the site, trying to do some damage. He will land one. Now it's all on Rain. A 1v1, and he pulls it off. Fierce Clan, 16-7. They will take the series. They will take Inferno.